Let's discuss. Rachel back again with another video and today I will be checking out a new track from Surgeon which is very exciting. This is the project of Jake from Reflections. It is his solo stuff. I have one video on the channel and this is his third song altogether. Uh, the first two tracks he put out are insane. I am expecting uh, something very heavy, very much like the heaviest parts of Reflections with you know, whatever Jake is wanting to do. That's what it sounds like to me at least, uh, which is a sound that I love. I will link all the social media, any sort of promotional links for Surgeon in the description, as well as Jake's social media. He posts a lot of really cool drum videos and stuff on Instagram that I really like, so I would suggest checking that out. Other than that, I'm gonna stop talking. We are going to check out Monopoly by Surgeon. Hard. Oh. Oh. Can't be visual. <laughs> oh. God, the sound of that snare. knew it was coming. Ooh. Apocalyptic. Surgeon Monopoly, let's discuss. I feel like I mentioned this in the video that I made for Surgeon, but it's nice because having this outlet for like the heaviest parts, I, I think that in some of 
the more recent reflections material, the the EPs that were more like along the Thaw lines, uh, they didn't land for me so much as Willow or The Color Clear is one of my favorite albums of all time. And it's it's complicated because I love that sound, but I love the heavier sounds too. And after Surgeon came out with the first two tracks, I actually went back and re-listened to the newer reflections material and had a new appreciation for it and i'm not sure why that is i think as much as we try to go into stuff open-minded when we love something a certain sound from an artist so much it does take some time to adjust to sometimes and this has been a project that has sort of opened my eyes to that but also made me want more of that sound at the same time as wanting more of the reflection sound so this is best case scenario for me because you can even get some of like those in some of the delivery from Jake's vocals, it just, you're like, oh yeah, I'm listening to a different project. Like, this is not Reflections, but it has that same level of uh, intensity and delivery. Some of the lines in the song are just so heavy, and I don't mean heavy like, wow, this is a heavy song. I mean like, some of the call out, some of the lyrical content is just like, wow. So the delivery here, I, I can't think of many people better to uh, dis like, just put in that level of emotion than Jake for for my preferences and such because uh, it's just been a huge draw for me in a lot of reflection songs some of the call outs but I have no idea how to describe where his voice goes with some of that but let me pull one of the lines that or like a timestamp in a line and then you'll know what I'm talking about I'm gonna be right back right around 106 where it says I will never fall asleep that's what I'm talking about but leading up to that you just have a bit of variety there some of it is so low and so brutal which makes this song is very unforgiving I think that's how best to describe it when you look at the lyrical content the intensity that's brought to it the aggression all of that I think that points to it being a very unforgiving song and sonically it matches the you know the lyrical pointers to that sort of mood all of it fits together very well I suppose but being able to come down and deliver a line like I will never fall asleep that way and then go straight back to uh, some of the more just I don't even know the correct adjective for some of the the vocals that Jake gets out when it comes to lows and highs. Some of the highs are just as brutal to me as as the lows that I'm talking about, which are in the lines leading up to the, the timestamp that I just mentioned. So all of that can be heard in like a, a 20 second snip there. If you go back a little further and re-listen to that part, I think you'll you'll get what I'm saying. But then you have the the attention to detail beyond that, the parts where I mentioned it sounding eerie or if you try to pick out some of the melodies that are behind some of this intensity. Uh, there is a lot of, of layered details in there that add to the song. And I think when it comes to anything that Jake works on, really, that's been something I've always appreciated and learned to, to pay attention to on my first listens and stuff. And I'm super happy to see that translating into Surgeon as well. So, of course, while I have a soft spot for... Um, really the color clear style reflections and some of Willow actually Willow to me it's it's grown so much on me it's not something that I would say isn't as good as the color clear I think I just hold that record in a different place in my heart which sounds so stupid but uh, I just am very emotionally attached to that record but Willow had the same kind of effect I went through a pandemic with that record and right when that came out and I listened to Sam Sarah for the first time and some of those like really piss tracks other than that uh, that was when I started kind of getting into some of the stuff that we're seeing in search and so it's it's been a progression I think when you put out a record that so many people uh, just see as this you know they hold it up on this pedestal and they're like the color clear it's got to be somewhat aggravating so I'm I guess what I'm trying to say and bringing up that so many times is that I'm glad that Jake has this outlet to post uh, it's just some straight up death course stuff but being able to pick out those elements that you can draw parallels to still even no matter how tiny the details may be that you pick out uh, I find that to be very fun I'm an overthinker I've mentioned that on the channel a million times so that's just a very fun style of overthinking for my brain it's something that I love about uh, what we do with picking things apart and talking about them so in depth if you could gather that from all of the talking that I do on this channel but anyway 
I think it's going to universe 25 is is that track for me and it'll be hard to be out but I think some of the emotion whether whether it be like pissed or kind of hopeless sounding which sounds but I mean listen to the lyrics and the delivery and stuff it just is what it is I think that will bring this up to where it can com- compete with my favorite um and but all three tracks like I've said they've been huge and I think this will be a project that I continue listening to and if they do a full release of it uh, it's gonna be something that ends up on repeat for me because that's what's happened with all of the songs thus far I don't think this one will be any different especially Ooh, I said X especially, especially being a contender for one or two over the third spot, which is still a track that I love and happens to be the one that I, I covered on the channel. But I still I love that song as well. I don't usually add one over the other to my playlist. It's usually adding both surgeon tracks to the playlist. So uh, be that what it may. I, those are really my thoughts. I don't I, because this is the solo project. This is where I'm coming to get my like heavy Jake material i don't think there's anything i'd really want to hear differently i feel uh, the intensity that's brought in vocally is what i i really love about a lot of jake's work but he's an incredible musician as well uh, can play the drums and come up with some parts that are just insane so be- so seeing him be able to lean all the way into the death chorus side of things hearing stuff like uh, the snare and just a lot of the drops being I don't want to say obnoxiously heavy in a bad way. I mean that in a good way. I love obnoxiously heavy stuff, stuff that really gets a message across, like a piss song like this, delivering on some of the, the call outs or the drops that you have in this song, I love. So onto the playlist that will go for me. Let me know what you thought in the comments, which track from Surgeon has been your favorite so far, and I will continue covering whatever this band does on my channel, or whatever really reflections Surgeon. Uh, anything that Jake's involved in, I'm typically interested in checking out. Uh, so we will continue doing that. Let me know your thoughts. All of the social media promotional links for Jake and Surgeon will be in the description of this video, as well as my link tree, which will have the invite for the Discord server where my community is based for my YouTube channel. It'll have my Patreon link and the link for my Twitch channel, which Twitch and Patreon are both getting big updates. Really, Twitch is getting started soon. I've got the background change here, which means I have settled into the new office. Well, some would settle. I've started recording in the new office, getting things set up to be doing a lot more streams. I'm already posting, uh, getting back to the schedule of increase in posting videos, trying for at least one per day, minus maybe one day a week, sometimes two a day. Uh, but yeah, well, we're getting back on schedule. Things are going to be picking up. So if you're interested in checking out Patreon, getting the Twitch followed so you know when I go live, that is all there. As always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.